All right, what's up y'all? So, today we got a special package from Craft and Ride team. Thank you guys so much, appreciate it Nick for sending it over. So we're gonna just get right into the unboxing. As you know, I'm riding the one wheel pint with Feature Motion's burgundy fender. So, what they have sent me, if I'm correct, is their new and improved magnetic fender. The packaging looks very nice, neat, good branding on their side. Craft and Ride, located in California. A little handcrafted note, appreciate it Nick. Thank you for your support Jeremy, enjoy. Definitely will. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into opening this. The little details, man, with their packaging. I'll leave the link in the description where y'all can check out the stuff they sell. So here we are. So we have the fender here, sticker pack. Comes in a handy dandy bag. Again, it's the little details of their branding. Makes it feel like a premium product. Good on you guys. Appreciate y'all sending this over. We're gonna go ahead and get in installing this bad boy. So the appeal for this fender is going to be that it's magnetic. So sometimes you don't want to run with a fender uh, so you can run with your, your wheel exposed. So what they've done is created a system where you can attach bolts on magnets onto your fender delete and snap it on and off. Apparently this is strong enough though to where it can withstand tumbles when you're trail riding. We're going to go ahead and get the fender off of the pint. Alright, so what you want to do is if you have a fender already installed, you're going to want to go ahead and remove it. I suggest carrying one of these. A good tip from my buddy Peter, uh, when we were trail riding, my float plate popped the front screws. Didn't have a tool on me, but he did, so definitely a good thing to keep in your kit. So with the included instructions and hardware kit, comes with very detailed instructions. Pictures printed, shows the direction of how the magnets are gonna be installed, included screws. So first step, we're gonna go ahead and install the factory fender delete. There's gonna be a little indent where the light bar should be right here. The light bar is obviously up front. Wanna get that. Comes with the tools, the four magnets. Comes with the four magnets here, four screws, and even a tool, just in case you didn't bring yours. There are gonna be a screw hole right here, as you can see, and then two little lines pointing to a corner right there. Make sure that the lines that are raised point, both lines are pointing towards the tire so that the screw hole mounts exactly on the hole. There is a hole right here. So what you want to do is match up the magnets onto the hole and the two raised lines are going to be pointing towards the tire. So there's a key point I forgot to mention. The two raised lines on the magnets have differing lengths. You need to make sure that the line going from north to south is longer than the line going east to west. You can actually stack the magnets to tell which line is longer. This is to ensure you have the strongest magnetic force upon install. I'll leave a link in the description with Nick's instructional video for another reference. You also want to make sure that these are flush and lined up nice and neat along fender delete. Okay. Can't recommend these guys enough. Check out craftandride.com. Check out their Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter as well. Right there. And that's it. You just snap it on. Make sure it's flush. Boom. There you go. That's it. All right, so this is the magnet strength test. So as you can see, I'm lifting it off the ground. There go. So they're, I mean, it's holding on there. The Craft and Ride magnetic fender is new and improved for the one wheel pint stronger magnets. It definitely can withstand some light tumbles. Uh, we're about to go test out some off-road, off-terrain, see how speed comes into play. Um, it can handle definitely to be picked up with one hand. Don't be quick about it when, when you give it some force. Sometimes uh, it may slip out. Just make sure that the magnets are installed correctly and you should be fine. 
other than that this is a really cool solution really nice looking fender from craft and ride really sleek i love the matte finish and it's really handy to be able to take off the fender when you just want to do some tricks some curb hops curb nudges practice curb slides all that spun stuff so you don't damage your fender my burgundy fender it's lasted since uh, i bought it in september honestly it's held up i've gone trail riding with that thing and uh, taken many tumbles and it's held up just some minor scratches other than that we're gonna go ahead and try out some more testing with this fender survived it survived thing's still on as you'll see the Craft and Ride Spectrum Magnetic Fender is just very tough. So just finished up that round of trail riding with the Craft and Ride Spectrum Magnetic Fender. As you guys saw in the clips previously, that thing handled the trails like a beast. Uh, man, I can't recommend this thing enough, especially if you're constantly going in between wanting to do street tricking and trail riding just because of how easy it is to take off and how strong the magnets are. So you really don't have to worry about it. Um, I mean, it took a bunch of tumbles, as you saw 
and uh, it handled it like a beast. So again, I can't recommend this thing enough. If y'all are looking for a awesome solution for a fender for your one wheel pint, definitely go to craftandride.com. I'll leave the link in the description below for y'all can check it out. They've got a variety of colors to deck out your one wheel pint and you're gonna love it. That's all I gotta say guys. So that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you would leave a like, subscribe to my channel and comment if you have any questions about anything one wheel related. All right guys, peace out.